Singapore is one of the world's smallest countries. However, it's one of the biggest carbon dioxide producers in Asia. The government of the city-state aims to address this issue by focusing on renewable energy. Singapore has little wind for wind power and no rivers for hydropower, so solar power is the best option. However, with so little landmass, finding the space for solar farms is challenging. Jen Tan of Semcorp explains that Singapore's bodies of water hold the answer. So after exhausting the rooftops, the available land, which is very scarce, the next uh, big potential is actually our water area. And we've got many reservoirs in Singapore that we can do floating, um, dual use floating and reservoir at the same time. This newly built solar farm spreads out from the coast into the Johor Strait, which separates Singapore from Malaysia. 13,000 solar panels are connected to the seabed. It can provide enough energy to power 1,400 flats. A far bigger project at Tenge Reservoir is currently under development. The 122,000 panel solar farm will become one of the largest in Southeast Asia. Singapore's goal is to raise solar energy use from 0.5% today to 3% by 2030. Supod Maizalka is the executive director of the Energy Research Institute at Nanyang Technological University. He believes Singapore should aim higher. I don't think Singapore has a choice. Singapore has to consider every possible option uh, for solar cell deployment so that uh, solar photoelectricity uh, or solar electricity can contribute anywhere between 10 to 20% of Singapore needs in a long-term basis.